So mm. if you think about traditionally how organizations have been structured, they've been hierarchical, command and control in nature. Everyone has a box. They fit in that box and you are rewarded for your individual achievement. And you, in some cases, in large organizations, probably all organizations, um, that creates a really toxic culture. I'm sure you've seen that in your coaching work where people want the individual glory and um, they're not bad people outside of work, but they um, exhibit some not so healthy behaviors inside of work because of the reward and recognition system. And that's changing. Um, where, you know, really the tech industry started it. They started uh, the idea of agile. I don't know if you're familiar with I am. that. Yeah. Just enough to be dangerous. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, <laughs> so, you know, agile is the concept that you are always iterating. You're working in cross-functional teams to solve a problem. And failure is not only accepted, it's applauded because you're always quickly going to market with ideas, testing them, revisiting it um, and just getting a good product you may not get there faster but you're going to have a better product at the end and so it started um, really in the tech industry it's moved to most IT departments that I know of a lot of them are doing it they're called scrum teams um, and recently in the most recent um, Harvard Business Review article uh, there was a full the front page or the front cover said um, Agile to scale. And really the crux of the article is it is going to be in every part of every organization and we are no longer going to operate in that hierarchical mode or those that are going to compete, those that are going to come out ahead are going to figure out how to be agile across the organization, work in teams 